<laughs> also, um, just in case you guys did not see the title, uh, in a little while after doing some development, I am going to play some Paladins. Uh, if anyone plays it, you are more than welcome to join me. I haven't been playing long, literally like three days, and I freaking love the game. It is uh, really, really fun. Team 1 and Team 2. And the main thing is I just want to see if I can actually get get the proper stuff going here. And we're going to do uh, spawn. Let's see. What am I looking for? Spawn actor from class. Thank you, self, for not remembering the basics of this. And we're going to go with uh, first person character. And then we're going to go with, let's see, this, get transform. Plug that right in. Right here. And we're going to set team to zero. Set team to one. go. Yes, I know. Thank you. I might have to go pull up the other thing just to make sure I did this correctly. If it doesn't work. If it does, oh well. Eh, don't need it. But let's see. Select the game mode. Boom. Default pawn. None. We don't want we don't want them to spawn an immediate pawn. Uh should I use one of the functions game mode? Uh, does game mode provide a function that does multiplayer? Because I am using, I, I'm using the event post login, which is one of the uh, things that it provides. Let's see, is there anything else? Do, 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 do. Uh... Yeah, I don't see anything. That's the restart player. Uh, restart. Yeah. Let's find out. Called during restart playing to actually spawn the player's pawn when using the start spot. I mean that makes sense. I could, I could see how that would be beneficial. Uh, well, let's. Hmm. See. Well. Fuck it. Let's try it. I actually, if you don't know this, have not done too much work inside the game mode, so I am still, you know, relatively new to uh, to some of the things that it offers, and I'm more than happy to to try to see what happens. Also, a function which picks your player start. Okay. 
spawn de I'm guessing that would be spawn default pawn mat transform. <laughs> uh, which is hmm. Okay, let's try spawn default. No. Okay, so it's not something that you have to call. You just use it. Okay, cool. So what I'm trying to see here is, is there a, because my, so here's my concern with using spawn default pawn four. What I'm trying to do is actually have it, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do some, some deeper digging on this. Uh, I may switch back to on post logon for now, but definitely we'll be looking more into this. Um, hey, Katatis. So the reason I'm concerned about this one is I don't see a way for me to actually set the, or determine what the player's index is, which should allow me to say, hey, you came, you know, there's 4v4, right? Or 5v5. I want to be able to go, okay, well, I want, you know, five on team A, five on team B, set them up and then make sure that they, in this case, you know, we're just doing a, a simple palette swap. Uh, but there's definitely, uh, geez, my brain is just not wanting to work today. Uh, there, there's definitely some things that, that you could do like, uh, character creations or, or character choosing, stuff like that. So if you had an, a UI element that allowed you to choose, you know, between the tank or the defender or the offense or the flanker or whatever, uh, that it would allow you to select that it replaces your, your character. Uh, you can do your team spawn logic. Oh, you can. Cool. Okay. Let's take a. Hmm. Can you tell it's been a while since I've really worked in the editor? <laughs> 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 Haven't had much of a chance in the last few months. Okay. Let's move this up here for now. So. On spawn character, all we really want it to do is hmm. well, let's just see what happens when we do it this way. Because fuck it. I didn't like that. So. I need that to be one. Called during restart player to actually spawn the player's pawn. We can Maybe I'm supposed to use this one. Uh, use fine player. Thank you. Fine player start. Uh, return the specific player start actor that should be used for the next spawn. This will either be a previously saved start actor or choose player start one. string. I can overwrite it. Okay, hold on. We're going to start this again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> I'm getting myself confused here. Uh, okay, so we've got spawn default pawn at transform. We've also got spawn default pawn. We've also got, uh, let's see. Derpy, 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 derpy. Handle starting new player. Uh, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. That's not what I need. That's not what I need. Okay, so. That's what I'm trying to do. It's not letting me... I guess, well, this is technically overwriting it. Okay. Uh, accurate which to spawn. Let's see. Uh... Screw it, I'll learn that later. <laughs> uh, well, that's it. I, I haven't even gotten that far, Raildex. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to get it to spawn two players, one on each team. That That's as far as I've gotten so far. We literally just started. <laughs> Let's do this. Save. Okay, that's not working. Team one start. I'm going to do this the very, very horrible and inefficient way. Do not trust me for this. <laughs> Display name, switch on string, we are going to play around the hard way and then fix it the, the smarter way later. Let's see if it works here. Nope. Okay. So, to be time efficient, we're going to cheat. Because I actually already have this somewhere. There it is. This is, this is how you cheat when you've already done something and you can't remember how to do it. <laughs> I, I want to get to the more fun stuff right now. Like, this is the thing I was talking about earlier, and I want to. I'm gonna redo that later, but for now, I want to make sure. Maybe that's what I was forgetting. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this. Copy it and repurpose it. Because I don't actually need four, I only need two. 